In 12 years of videotaping rodeos nationwide, Shark has documented countless incidents of extraordinary cruelty. But the focus of this video may be the worst. This is the Oklahoma State Penitentiary Rodeo in McAllister, Oklahoma. This prison houses some of the most cruel and brutal criminals in the state. But in a case of unimaginable stupidity, the warden of the prison proudly hosts a rodeo that teaches already violent felons even more cruelty and violence. Starting with the FBI, most law enforcement agencies recognize the link between animal cruelty and violence against humans. But apparently this concept hasn't dawned on administrators of the Oklahoma correction system, or maybe they just don't care. In the corner, we've got our first one mounting up. Can he make it? Yeah, there he goes. The following pitiful scene of insensitivity ranks among the lowest of the low that shark investigators have ever witnessed. What you are about to see is a young horse who pays the ultimate price for the utter cruelty, cowardice, and corruption of the rodeo mafia. This event is called the Mad Scramble. Multiple bulls and horses are released into the arena at the same time. The resulting panic and mayhem of the animal victims is apparently great entertainment for rodeo fans whose narcissism renders them immune to any concept of the humane treatment of animals. Predictably, with panic and pandemonium come accidents. Here a young horse has both his right front leg and right rear leg broken. These injuries are a death sentence for this beautiful, innocent animal. Suffering and in a state of confusion and panic, the young horse instinctively seeks the safety and comfort of the herd. But the safety and comfort of this victim is of no concern to rodeo personnel. Common decency cries out for his killers to show him some degree of compassion and dignity, but it is not to be. Contrary to rodeo propaganda claiming a love for animals, rodeo people simply want to move the show along. In the world to be here tonight. And we're going to start our action off with our first competitive event, our Cowboy Steer Wrestling Competition. Now, if this is your first time you ever be at a professional rodeo, this is going to be his man. They're competing for nearly The injured horse is dragged away. His swinging front leg confirms the degree of that injury. However, a careful look reveals that his right rear leg is broken as well, and he is unable to place significant weight on it. So many steer matches injured, we have already had what we call slap. That means the excess number. The injured horse collapses. Through the entire heartbreaking, repulsive tragedy, there isn't so much as a single word about the victim from the rodeo announcer. Instead of extending even minimal humane care by sledding the victim out, thugs on horseback whip the animal. Another thug on foot forces the animal back up and they continue dragging him away as he is made to walk on two broken legs. Hey, we'd like to welcome a brand new a member. Hopefully, he won't come to live here to our prison rodeo. Instead of providing the animal with proper veterinary care or even a place to lie down, the horse is left to stand on his broken legs. Hey, I didn't think I was going to be here all the time. Really? Yeah, have you been drinking? I looked at him, I said, you're the kind of guy who's donuts. You been eating donuts? And here you can see what the rodeo's solution is. The cowards simply pull a trailer forward to hide the injured animal from view. Please remember this when someone invites you to attend a rodeo 
or you see an ad claiming that rodeos are great family entertainment. If you care about animals, please say no to rodeos and to rodeo corporate sponsors such as Coca-Cola, Dodge Vehicles, AT&T, Bank of America, Southwest Airlines, Wrangler, Jack Daniels, Walmart, Sam's Club, McDonald's, the U.S. Army, and in an incredible display of horse betrayal, the American Quarter Horse Association, which not surprisingly also supports horse slaughter. This is Mike Kabliska for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Thanks for caring about the animal victims of rodeo.